Hi, welcome back to part 2 of this vlog. And here we are at hole number 6. There are two ways to play this. You can either you can lay it up with a club that gives you about 140 meters, no more than 150 as the ball will kick into the water. Or you can play aggressive and hit a driver. If you carry at least 220 meters, you can take on the fairway on the right side. Here I have about 67 meters and the pin was stuck at the back. I went for it because I know the ball would land soft and give myself a good chance for birdie. I was really confident about this part, but I kind of forget about one thing, which was the speed. And yep, I should have marked my ball and took my time. Hole 7, a beautiful par 3 hole. We had about 131 meters to the pin and it was tucked right. I generally play a draw, so I would um, aim straight for the pin and let the ball draw back to the center of the green. Didn't hit this too well. But when you're on the green, you can't really complain. Whenever you're on the green and you have a look for a birdie or for a par, it's always a good thing. Okay, hole 8. Hole 8 is not a long hole either. Took the driver out, sticking with the aggressive play and went for the green. And I was actually next to the green. I apologize for this uh, blur camera setup. I didn't really hit a really good shot from here. Kind of underestimated the kick from the front slope. And on hindsight, I should have chosen to putt. Gave myself probably about 15 feet for birdie. and a gimme par. And finally on the ninth hole, my plan was to carry this ball over the tree on the right side and draw it back. Confidently knowing that the wind would actually stop my ball from going into the walkway. However, the ball didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to be. Thank God it was safe. However, I was caught in this really awkward situation. I wanted to advance it as far as possible, but neither did I want to fall into the pond. So playing it out would be the safest option. Yes, play safe and be safe. So the next plan would be to get the three wood and hit it as far as possible as I can. But I guess I wasn't prepared to hit this shot and neither was I mentally into it and hit a horrible shot. Took a 5 iron and just played for the middle of the green as I didn't want to compound the mistakes and walk away with a double bogey. So two parts from here would be the best. Walking away with a bogey would uh, limit the damage and I'd be happy with an even par on the front nine. Thank you for joining me. And I hope to see you on the next on course session. See you guys. Thank you for watching today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And click here for more videos. See you next time.